It's a mild evening across the valley. Temperatures a little slower to fall tonight. The wind staying up for a while and so readings have trouble going down. These are the currents mid 70s, pretty much valley wide 72 Harlingen. Now Port Isabel 73, same thing in Brownsville. Winds are still a little breezy, but not like it was earlier. We've got a gust of 25 this hour in Brownsville, Rio Grande City at 26. Everybody else has kind of gone missing, so the winds beginning to die down a little bit. Future tracks suggest temperatures go nowhere overnight. 8 o'clock in the morning, we're right where we are right now in the mid 70s. And then afternoon tomorrow, back up over 90 in the west. Most of the valley in the upper 80s and then 76 at the beach. And then Saturday gets a little more interesting. We're starting the day around 70, but then temperatures likely warming up a lot. We're showing 90s across a lot of the area. I wouldn't be surprised Saturday if a lot of the valley goes well up into the 90s, getting close even in the west to 100 degrees Saturday afternoon. And then Sunday, the wind comes back out of the southeast rather than from the south, and temperatures go back up into the upper 80s, and maybe 90 again. Average high this time of year is 82, and we're going 87 tomorrow. At least 92 on Saturday as an average. Western part of the valley could be well above that. And then 90 on Sunday. You saw that record high Sunday, 102. That won't be threatened. In the meantime, patchy low clouds could show up late tonight. Also, there's a little bit of high cloud that is sneaking across. Tomorrow, it's a mix of clouds and sunshine. The weak cool front comes in, does almost nothing except turn the wind around to the south or southwest for Saturday, and that tends to make it very, very warm. And I think especially the western part of the valley will get quite hot on Saturday with plenty of sunshine. By Sunday, the wind's back out of the southeast. That brings patchy clouds back in again. But still, with all that, almost almost no chance of rain. As this front sneaks by, it's going to trigger big storms in north and east Texas. There's a slight chance we can see a brief shower here late tomorrow near the coast and then move on on out. But I think we should, for the most part, stay dry. Saturday looks sunny, hot, dry. Another front on Sunday should stay well to the north of us, so it's going to be a while before you see any big chance of rain. Your chance tomorrow stands at less than 5% percent across the area. If you're headed to the beach, getting your weekend started early, a little breezy in the morning. Suddenly winds about 24. Temperatures start in the 70s, might touch 80 briefly, and then by evening you're still back in the 70s. Here are your tides. There's a couple of them. Small craft advisory effect through tomorrow morning. One quick reminder, you're looking for something to do on Sunday with the kids. They happen to like weather a little bit. Come on up to Storm Fury. All kinds of great hands-on activities. Weather science for kids of all ages. Something really cool to see. It's at the Bogus Ford Event Center in Far, Noon to 4. It only cost a buck to get in. Bring the kids. Have a good time. Have a Storm Fury on Sunday, 12 to 4. Tonight, 70 for a low. Tomorrow, 87 for a high. Breezy, but not as windy as today. I think Saturday we're hot, at least 92. A lot of the valley probably hotter than that. You look at Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we hold it 90-ish for highs and around 70 for lows. Slight chance for a shower about Wednesday of next week.